flavors of this. Just act natural. Absolutely. Smile. I was wondering why you're here. I know, right? It's actually a surprise plot twist. I am.
that it may ever thirst for love. With all the forces of the universe, we pray for harmony and happiness. <clears throat> Our next reading is from Blessing of the Hands by Reverend Daniel L. Harris and will be shared with us by the couple's friend, Margie Lacars. Corinne and Michael, please hold hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that may tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. Well. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even a wrinkle of age will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Corinne and Michael. When we first met to discuss your wedding ceremony, it was immediately made clear to me that in order to properly make this a day that feels like the two of you and your relationship, it would need to be seasoned with song lyrics and quotes from your favorite shows, just as so many of your conversations are. I, of course, was excited to hear what love songs and rom-coms you two quoted most. <laughs> and it was then that you shared that artists like Kesha and movies like Shark Tale would be most fitting to me. <laughs> I tried. Really, I did, to find excerpts from these that had just the right tone for today. And as you know, I failed. <laughs> but allow me to draw from some of your other favorites to inspire you and celebrate your love today. The show Doctor Who has been on the air for about a million years, that's true. <laughs> so it's no wonder the many doctors have coined some key wisdom on love and marriage. And it feels most appropriate to share some of the best with you both now. For instance, the 10th doctor said, some people live more in 20 years than others do in 80. It's not the time that matters, it's the person. But really, it's the 12th doctor who I've always felt had the greatest handle on romance. He's the one who noted that love is not an emotion. Love is a promise. It's important to remember during tough times in the year ahead, however sparse we're sure they may be, <laughs> that you can't fall out of love because it's not about how you feel in each minute. It's the promise you're holding yourselves to today based on how you feel right now. This same doctor also imparted the wisdom that the deep and lovely dark, we'd never see the stars without it. Every medium of pop culture has noted this in some way. It's Batman's darkest before the dawn and Eponine's little fall of rain. I speak not from experience, but from Google research. When I remind you that marriage may not always be easy, but it will always be worth it. And of course, I'd be remiss not to share the doctor's wisest caveat of all. Can you just hurry up, please, or I'll hit you with my shoe. <laughs> I'm sure there's some married life allegory to be made there, but I will spare everyone of that. <laughs> I know one thing all three of us have in common is a love for Disney. And one of our favorites is Tangled. I like it because Mandy Moore attacks people with frying pans. <laughs> Perhaps you two love it more because of the story's central theme of chasing your dreams. When in the movie Rapunzel worries that she'll have nothing left to fantasize about if life outside her tower turns out to be everything she dreamed of, Flynn Rider assures her that if it is, she gets to go find a new dream. Today, you two achieve a dream you've had for a long time, and when you discover it's every bit as wonderful as you know it will be, you get to go chase a new dream together. I suggest something involving a lake and some lanterns. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Now, it would not be a wedding ceremony themed around song lyrics, especially for these two, without at least one from the hit Broadway show, Hamilton. <laughs> Those of you uh, who have seen the show know that Hamilton's relationships were not actually that perfect, so I tend to draw the most warmth from the lyrics he shares with his son. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes. 
I'll make the world safe and sound for you. I wish for you a love and life that may not always be perfect, but is surely enveloped in a sense of duty and protection of one another when you're needed most. As for the warm, fuzzy stuff from The Great White Way, I wish for you also the kind of love that two of the characters had in a favorite of mine, a more obscure show titled Bear, where one character tells the other, please take my hand, let me help you understand. Two searching hearts can uh, rest and be made whole. I know it's love, you touch my soul. You know, it's really no wonder you two are perfect for each other, and even less of a wonder that song lyrics have been a staple of your romance. Mm -hmm. It was T-Swift who realized that love and song lyrics go hand in hand in her 2012 song, Red. <laughs> Memorizing him was as easy as knowing all the words to her old favorite song. So I have to ask, if seeing each other makes you hear music, and hearing music makes you think of each other, when do you guys ever get anything done? We don't. <laughs> I want to tie up this little ode to song lyrics with one more wish for the two of you as a couple. And not just your, as not just your friend, but as your minister. May you have the kind of love that Safety Soup sings about in their wedding song, Never Stop. Never stop trying. Never stop watching as the other leaves. Never stop losing your breath every time you see them looking back at you. Never stop holding hands. Never stop opening the door. Never stop choosing each other. And never get used to one another. Now, Michael and Corinne also mentioned to me that they watch a lot of Food Network, and my sermon time is clearly already running long. So in the words of Guy Fieri, peace, love, and taco grease. <laughs> now, how about we exchange a ring or two? meeting first as members of the Residence Hall Association, and then continuing their friendship and eventually their relationship in residence life, gave Corinne and Michael some unique perspectives on themselves. In fact, one of the many ways they define their compatibility is through the True Colors Personality Assessment administered their first year on staff together. For those unfamiliar, of which I assume there are many, to be assessed, you complete a brief questionnaire and are then assigned a color or color pairing that defines your strengths, values, and needs as an individual. Corinne's and Michael's results are pretty interesting. Corinne first tested as a mix of blue and gold. Then, upon future assessment, she became purely just the gold. Now, a blue personality represents enthusiasm and empathy. It's a feeler personality. So, Michael, I hope those weren't traits you were looking forward to. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Corinne is still a warm and affectionate person. She has just evolved further toward the gold personality, which represents loyalty and appreciation, as well as organization. Golds are planners, as you know firsthand. Corinne, as a fellow gold, you understand these components of Michael's character. But note he's also green, meaning he's logical and analytical. Your very own Mr. Spock. Can you do that? No. Yeah. <laughs> but today is not about your differences. It's your common ground that will unite you as a married couple. You both have gold personalities, meaning you're reliable and structured and find joy in accomplishing your tasks. In fact, if we listen really quietly right now, we can hear you both crossing off each part of the sermon in your head as I can. <laughs> it's so fitting, therefore, that you will be exchanging gold rings today to remind you each day of your marriage that it is your commonalities that will unite you and that together you can accomplish anything. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> As you place these rings on one another's fingers, uh, remember that you are giving a representation of yourself and receiving the same in turn. Michael, please place the ring on Corinne's finger and repeat after me. I, Michael. I, Michael. Give you Corinne. Give you Corinne. This ring as I give to you all that I am. This ring as I give to you all that I am. And accept from you all that you are. And accept from you all that you are. Corinne. Please place the ring on Michael's finger and repeat after me. I, Corinne. I, Corinne. Give you, Michael. Give you, Michael. 
This ring as I give to you all that I am. This ring as I give to you all that I am. And accept from you all that you are. And accept from you all that you are. The ring has no beginning and no ending, which symbolizes that the love between you will never cease. You have placed these rings upon each other's fingers as a visible sign of the commitment you each are making to live the rest of your days as husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> to further solidify and express the love and commitment that Corinne and Michael have promised to one another for the life they have ahead of them, they have chosen to perform a unity ceremony. In this ceremony, the couple has chosen to combine some symbols of their early life apart and bring them together to show each other and all of us how their life is one uh, from this day forward. <clears throat> to the plant you see here, Corinne contributes soil from Mosquito Park in Jersey City. <laughs> Corinne recalls fond memories as a little girl visiting that park to run in nice weather, sled in snowy weather, and roll around and enjoy the beauty of the park year round. Corinne, please continue to act this way. Now to the plants. Michael contributes soil from Knight Park, specifically the soccer field in Collinswood. To Michael, the soccer field at Knight Park was the place to go for riding bikes, and more recently for catching Pokemon. <laughs> now, anyone else, the soccer field would have been for soccer. <laughs> Michael, thank you for adding your soil. Now, I am confident the couple will hold this memento of their big day in high esteem somewhere special within their home. When they look at it, I hope they will think of today being surrounded by their loved ones, that's you, and recall that even though they haven't been together their whole lives, they have merged more than just their futures, but their presence, their pasts, and their families and friends. Now, anyone who has ever been to a wedding, or even just watched one on TV, knows a few elements of the ceremony are essential. There's the rings, we covered that. There's the long uninterrupted speech by the minister where everyone ponders the big questions like, oh, where did she get her dress? And is an online ordination actually valid in a church? And I wonder if the minister's single. We covered all of that too, and to recap, that's her business, this isn't actually a church, and yes, Yes, I <laughs> the rest of the wedding tropes are still in store, including the part where I declare them married and the couple shares their first kiss as husband and wife. Uh, just a note to please remain seated following the ceremony for a brief phot uh, photograph. Do you, Michael, welcome Corinne as your wife? offering her your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, as together you create your future. I do. Do you, Corinne, welcome Michael as your husband, offering him your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, as together you create your future. I do. <laughs> do you, Michael, agree to lend me $20 after the ceremony? I do. <laughs> well then, it is my greatest pleasure to declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss one another. Congratulations. <laughs> <You're welcome>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>